going to try not to kill you with data, but that's the kind of person I am. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to put up with it. My name is Dr. Kate Fleeser, and I'm at the University of Georgia. And my co-authors are not listed in the program, but I'd like to recognize them in order, because I am the last author, it is Jamie Trainer, Megan Poitavant, Becca Bruni, Holly Stiles, Katie Raines, Katie Drew, Cla Katie Drew Clay, Heather Little, and myself, Kay Sweetser. Why so many co-authors? I'm so proud to announce that this was a result of a project um, in my undergraduate public relations research class. Um, and so we're very happy uh, to present it here at AEJ. Uh, so the title of the paper has also been updated, On the Ballot and in the Loop, The Dialogic Capacity of Campaign Blogs in the 2008 Election. So I'm not going to go into all of the details of dialogic theory, but it is a, a very standard public relations way to look at websites and the ability of websites to create some sort of uh, conversation, dialogue, um, and community that might result from that. Um, I am building on um, uh, Maureen um, Taylor and Michael Kent's work, and then more recently, the um, evolution of dialogic theory on blogs, which is Michael Mitrick and Trent Seltzer. Um, and so we are looking at the dialogic loop, this ability to create a conversation, usefulness of information, generation of return visits, um, intuitiveness, and the uh, um, conservation of visitors on a website. The way that we go about doing this in dialogic method is a content analysis, and so that is what we did. Um, there are about 32 variables in the normal dialogic um, method, and then we added 10 more because this is the first time the dialogic method has been used to look at campaign websites. Um, we also added some that dealt with um, Web 2.0, I hate to use that phrase, sorry, but social media um, type items in there as well. So we collected our data um, in August 2007. Why so early? Well, we wanted to get as many blogs as possible to give the opportunity for diversity, diversity in gender, obviously, diversity in level of race, because we looked at gubernatorial, House, Senate, and presidential candidates, and then um, diversity in uh, political ideology, Republican, Democrat, Independent, et cetera. Um, so during that time when we collected our data, we came up with 80 um, blogs. The unit of analysis was the front page of the blog, so we only went to official campaign websites and their official blog, and then um, downloaded those and, uh, and looked at them. Um, our intercoder reliability was 92% accuracy across all of our um, 40, now 42 um, variables plus the demographic variables as well. So 11 turns out to be the magic number, as Glenn mentioned earlier, um, because there were 11 out of 80 total blogs that were female. So uh, not a very large percentage of female candidates who were blogging um, during this period. Uh, there was one presidential female candidate. I wonder who that might have been. Um, and then the other 10 were House. So we also do not have diversity here in level of race. Um, and then when it comes to ethnicity, we had um, one African-American and 10 Caucasian um, female bloggers. So I'm going to go through each of these um, dialogic features, variables, um, and, and how they were uh, uh, collapsed together into indices. Di the, the dialogic method typically does not do a factor analysis. Um, they, they put them into indices, and then you look at, um, you would just compare uh, with t-tests or ANOVAs, whatever the case may be. So the first index that we had was the ease of interface. These deal with navigation type issues. And there were four possible items that could have gone into making up um, that a person had a good ease of interface. Overall, the entire sample, um, 80 blogs, the mean was 2.23, and then just the women's subset was two. So women are doing a little bit um, worse than the average here uh, when it comes to the navigation. For media usefulness, there were six items that made up this particular index, and the mean was 2.88 but women were doing better on this media usefulness index with a, a subset um, mean of 3.36. I'm sorry, constituents usefulness, so now focusing on um, information for voter choice and um, getting people involved. The overall mean um, out of eight possible variables was 4.03, so we're getting a little bit 
um, greater potential reached here, and women higher um, than the overall. The women subset was 4.63. Conservation of visitors, the overall mean was 2.18. Women lower at two variables. Return visits, there were 10 possible variables in this index. The overall was 3.05. Women higher at 3.72. Uh, dialogic loop, this is really the heart of what Dialogic gets to. Does the campaign encourage conversation? Do they respond to you when you send them an email? Um, very important when it comes to how we think of blogs and, and that symmetrical communication um, that we hope is occurring on them. There were five possible items in this particular index. The overall was 2.14, and then women were higher at 2.54. Web 2.0, this is, I, I linked to my MySpace page, I, I ask you to dig um, a particular article um, through that website. Oh, uh, seven possible items there, overall mean low, low, low <laughs> at 1.85, and then women even lower, 1.54. Um, so I did do some uh, t-tests to compare the men versus the women um, in this, and there was only one statistically significant difference, and um, that was on conservation of visitors. But we do see that what I think are meaningful differences, while they are not statistically significant, I believe that with a bigger data set um, and with more time, we could see that there is an emerging statistically significant difference between how men and women um, perform in these dialogic uh, capabilities on their website. To kind of bring it all together, since I've, I've wooed you with all these numbers, um, we see that the women are not doing as well overall when it comes to the technical features on their website. You know, the navigation item, which was ease of interface, as well as Web 2.0, linking to all these cool items. Where are they doing well? Well, they're doing well with providing information. They're doing well with um, the uh, usefulness of information for constituents, as well as for media. So they want to give you information. Um, they're also doing well with conversational features. Um, they are trying to involve people in the conversation, and this again is the heart of dialogic theory, which is um, to, to involve people in this. We did do also some uh, correlations, and we looked at how these particular, um, I don't know why they all of a sudden became <laughs> um, We did look at correlations and, and um, we wanted to uh, see which of these particular um, indices would correlate with one another. Now just looking at the female subset, those 11 um, female uh, candidate bloggers, um, all of these were um, very strong correlations at basically 0.66 or above, um, and we had ease of interface correlated with a dialogic loop, um, web 2.0 uh, correlated with return visits, constituents, usefulness, correlated with media usefulness, um, so what's good for constituents is often good for the media, and return visits correlated with um, constituents use. So kind of uh, looking forward from this, um, because of the low number of female um, candidates in this particular sample and the lack of diversity regarding race, uh, and by race I mean gubernatorial um, House Senate, presidential, as well as um, political party ideology, we weren't able to do um, some better statistics to, to compare the women there. I can tell you with the entire group, the 80 um, blogs that we looked at, we did do um, an ANOVA to see if there was a statistically significant difference between all of these 80 blogs based on political party, and uh, we found that no, there was not. Um, even though Democrats did seem to have um, more blogs than Republicans and independents, it was not statistically significant. We also did it on the level um, of the race, gubernatorial, House, Senate, um, presidential, and here we saw several statistical, um, statistically significant differences, and again, this is the whole group of 80, and basically, to, to sum it up for you on that one, the larger the race, the more national the race, the more dialogic capacity these blogs have um, and are offering. So where do we go from here? Well, we, we get more female candidates um, in the races so that we can look at their blogs and um, perhaps we change around the unit of analysis and instead of looking at the blog itself, 
we go and we, we delve further into um, each blog post um, and compare those as well. Um, so thank you very much for your time and uh, I look forward to your questions.